A look at the Lakers as they got off the team bus after arriving at the arena. The John Hancock Tower rising above the bustling city of Boston and its tree-lined streets. Hi, everyone. We're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. Tonight, we'll see the Boston Celtics as they play against the Los Angeles Lakers. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Well, the Celtics have their two Jays, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Their names are similar, and sometimes people get confused. Brown said, Coach Brad Stevens does it a lot. He draws up the play and says Jalen, but puts JT on the clipboard. We look at each other like, all right, bro, one of us is going to get the bucket. It doesn't even matter. Kevin, back to you. Both capable, DA. Thank you. We've got a primetime interconference rivalry, Greg. What do you expect to see here tonight? It uh, could be a, a feeling out process early, but I do think once the teams get going, expect it to be physical and contentious. Here are the starters for Los Angeles. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Deion Waiters is out there with lights out, and it's Howard in at the five spot. And for Boston, Hayward at small forward with Tatum at the four. Smart is out there with Brown, and it's Cantor in at the center, filling out the middle. Smart passes to Hayward. And here's Cantor. It's Brown on the wing. Pass to Tatum. Lock at six over Davis. And Davis sends it back. Here's Olsen. Rebounded by Smart. And so it's smart. He'll bring up the ball for the Boston Celtics. Here's Brown, and Brown throws it down. Boy, how impressive is the quickness Jalen Brown possesses. This guy sprints hard toward the cup on every drive. Here's LeBron, and James throws it down. Straight power, homie. I mean, he ripped it down <laughs> with both hands. Absolutely a resounding dunk. Last game for the Celtics, they pick up the win against the Suns. Smart passes to Tatum. Let's go. Rebounded by Howard. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. You gotta love his hustle, leaving the defense no time to react. The finish and transition, nice and easy. And we're about a minute and a half into the first quarter. Tatum finds Kanner. Here's Brown. And it's sent back by Howard. There's a reason Dwight Howard has so many old defensive teams to his credit. Good night with the block. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. For Boston, they've gone just one of four to get this game started. Hayward dishes to Smart. Passes it to Cantor. Lets it go from deep. Boston again missing. Boy, the offensive flow just isn't there right now. One for five to start the game. Doris, oh. what about that dunk? Oh, that was oh. special. My goodness. LeBron James, ever the showman with an exceptional slam there. One of the best dunkers in the history of the game. Here's Smart. Starting at eight points. Brown outside. Over Waiters. That one wide left. For Los Angeles, they've gone four or five from the field so far. And Doris, much has been made of Brown's improvement offensively, and rightly so. But when you ask Coach Stevens about him, he always goes back to his defense. Well, it's never a surprise for the coach that that is the first and foremost thing on their mind. At 6'7", with a 7-foot wingspan, 
that incredible athleticism. Jalen Brown can guard the elite wings in this league, and he holds his own and competes at a high level. It's a must-have for any championship team. So the Celtics call timeout their first. And this matchup with the Lakers, it's their first meeting of the season. And you have to love it when there's a matchup like this. Two teams that are at the top of their respective conferences going at it. And the fact that they split their two meetings last season. Does one try to get a leg up? And it's the Lakers ball. 11 unanswered points for him. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Oh, great ball movement there. Smart passes to Cantor. Davis against Tatum. Elbow shot, and the rebound goes to Howard. Howard's got rebound number five here tonight. The rebound by the Celtics. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. Yeah, and, and in that game, you see how they built out this roster, acquiring role players who can step up when needed. And that's exactly what happened. Guys came off the bench ready to play. The offense didn't miss a beat. And here is Los Angeles now after Ennis Cantor's miss. No good from Olsen. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. Tatum. The shot will not fall. Great D that time from Davis. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds time here out, to start. Out. Building up a big early lead. Martin. They have taken charge of this game. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Now a timeout called by Boston. Greg, if your system overall for these teams, if the schemes don't seem to be working, how much can you really change before you get to the offseason? Or, in particular, before you get to the playoffs? It's never easy. A system change would come typically with a coaching change. And the reality is you also have to evaluate the roster and... and you can't fit that square peg into a round hole. Whatever your system is, it's got to be catered to the personnel you have. You can't go the other way around, and I think that's what separates oftentimes the good coaches from the great ones. And, Doris, when you're identifying the heart and soul of this Celtics team, Smart is always at the center of that discussion. Marcus Smart is so passionate. He's so tough, so willing to get down and do the dirty work that affect winning. And consider the role he's taken now as the leader of the Celtics, the ability to mentor a young guy like Grant Williams. Marcus Smart, you want him on your side. Stolen by Cantor. And a fast break now for the Celtics. Basket counts. Well, you have to admire how smart is running this offense right now. He has a knack for spotting open teammates. Fades away. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. Lights out. has got five now. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to summon up a little more sense of urgency. Round kicks to smart. Hayward against James. Puts it up from 17, and there's Brown. That's good on the assist by Hayward. He's got six. Well, to me, that's excellent timing from Jalen Brown. He shoots with confidence, knowing his teammates trust him. Waiters passes to James. From outside the arc, and again, it's the Lakers from deep. They're, they're getting a lot of their points outside the paint. Three of their last five baskets are from three-point range. Smart deciding where to go with it. The pass to Tatum. Six on the shot clock over Davis. Again, the Celtics good for two. This is right in Tatum's wheelhouse. That mid-range is his comfort zone. And stolen by Hayward. Up the floor. And... Brown. And they need those kind of plays right now. Smart defense that generates some oak. Olsen passes to Davis. Great D that time from Tatum. A, a team's rebounding is a great measure of its energy. And theirs has been terrific here in the first quarter. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Davis shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Jason Tatum. 
there's a fluid power and athleticism that he possesses nearly impossible to contain Davis inside. So Boston going with almost an entire new group here. Poirier's checked in. Daniel Tice comes in for Jason Tatum. Green, he's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Smart. JaVale McGee's checked in for Los Angeles. And both free throws good for Davis. And it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Now, here's Tice. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around 7.5 points a game. Los Angeles leading by 12. Here's James and the dunk by James. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. On the offensive end, it feels like they're getting the shots they want, and defensively, they are connected and on a string. So it's the Celtics now, after the basket by the Lakers. Tice passes to Green. Shot clock at six. Here's Wanamaker. Count the basket. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. No good from Olsen. I think he's got to settle down because right now it feels like he's rushing, like he's forcing some shots. This quarter he has been completely bothered. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And you know what? You allow a guy to get right to the rim like that. That's your only option. For Boston, they have converted one of two free throws so far today. And some changes here for the Lakers. Morris is checked in for Davis. Kyle Kuzma comes in for LeBron. And it's Green in for Deion Waiters. Olsen passes to McGee. Kuzma outside. Here's lights out. Really played well against Houston in his last outing. Greg is a point guard. What is it you like to see from that position on the floor? I think first and foremost, leadership. Uh, it, it's so valuable at that spot. And, you know, you, you, you always got to have your head high because your teammates are feeding off what you put forth in terms of your body language and enthusiasm. So, you know, the typical stuff about organizing the offense and, and setting the tone on the defensive end, that stuff's important as well. But so much of how you carry yourself out on the floor when you deal with adversity and you know that you're going to it, it is really paramount. Count it. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. And Morris has got the ball here for the Lakers. Ten-point lead. And the whistle blows as the basket counts and a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. How about the vision of Markeith Morris? Hits the open man, has a good feel for the game. Boy, this guy can do a lot of things. Lakers shooting their fifth attempt at the line in the game. Here's Wanamaker. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. And yes, it's good. And of the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is just smash mouth physical basketball, guys. Here's lights out. He's got 10 and the wide open shot from Green. And another three for the Lakers. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. To the inside. And that one is hammered home. And that's a little lack of fight at the defensive end. Uh, absolutely. At least on that slam, you're right. That's one way to let a team back in the game. Right. You could see on that possession, one side playing with a little desperation, the other side losing focus. Now, here's Kuzma. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Shoots over Brown. Misses the baby hook. Well, this is how you shut him down. A tremendous contest against a very skilled player. And Wanamaker gets it to go. Los Angeles leading by 10. Here's lights out. He's as deadly a weapon as you're going to find in the league. An average of almost 35 points a game. Wow. Two points. That one goes. I think this is an underrated aspect of Danny Green's game. His vision as a passer. Brown outside.
McGee with the block. Here's Olsen. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. And that's 15 points for lights out. Outstanding start from three-point range. Their shooters are on fire. Green against Green. Green passes to Wanamaker. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Wanamaker's got 11 points. Well, this quarter has been all about this guy. He is trying to close the gap in the score. Pass to Kuzma. Morris looking over the floor. Olsen passes to Kuzma. Here's Morris. And there's another one for the Lakers. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Wanamaker the pass to Tice. Here's Poirier. On the wing, Green. Pass to Brown. Shoots over Kuzma. And it's Brown missing. The fadeaway, not a terrible idea, but he needs to make the game easier on himself. He's overcomplicating things. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance. So it's the Lakers now. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 23 points. Taking a look at the Lakers. LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Deion Waiters is out there with lights out, and it's Howard in its center. And if you look at this first half, overall, they've just had the better shot selection. And I think, obviously, we see the execution and the willingness to make the next pass so important. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey guys, lights out in their last game against the Rockets had a huge night. He scored 40 points and got there the usual way. An impressive barrage of three-pointers. He racked up big numbers in what was a really good performance. Can he carry it over tonight? We'll see, Kevin. Yeah, David and stretches, he was absolutely dominant. Greg, he'd love to match that performance tonight. This team needs his contributions. When he's right, he makes winning plays time and time again. Well, when you're coming off a game like he had, you know the difference tonight. They're going to load up against him. They're going to try to take him out of his rhythm early. Got that bucket in in no time at all. LeBron's got 11 points in the quarter. I'll tell you, this guy is proving to be a problem for the defense. In this quarter, he has been special. Wanamaker the pass to Tatum, and Davis sends it back. And wingspan, mobility, Davis is basically a shooter's nightmare. One of the great shot blockers in the league. They recover it. A shot by Hayward, wide open, traps in the tray. Hayward's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Lakers have gone 8 of 10 from the field here in the second quarter. You've got to like how they've shot the ball. Olsen passes to LeBron. Tatum against Davis. Tatum's shot is off. Plus 8 in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. To the middle and stolen by Tatum. Here's Wanamaker. 11 points in the game. Goes up on the wing, but they recover it. No good off the back of the rim. He is just not taking smart shots out there. A pattern he has fallen into tonight. We know how important the draft is, Greg. It can, it can shape an organization. Talk about some of the best draft day deals of the last couple decades. There have been a lot of them. Oh, there have been a few. I mean, just coming to mind here recently, how about when Kawhi, was traded to the Spurs. That was a, yes. a huge get. Go back George to how Hill. about Kobe going to the Lakers. Uh, Mikhail and Parrish coming to the Celtics. I mean, we've seen that happen quite a bit. And, and I tell you what, boy, it, it can really transform a franchise's future. Now a timeout called by Boston. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. He's just really a one-man wrecking crew down low. And with this timeout, they've got to make some adjustments because he's been steady inside. JaVale McGee's checked in for Deion Waiters. Get up, get up. McGee on the double team. 
Brown right side. For three, down goes basket number six for him this game. He's taken 12 shots and made half of them. Well, this is a shot that Jalen Brown must make consistently. Nice seeing him start to look confident stroking it from deep. Davis kicks to Green. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Green's got six. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication. And now he's able to make them pay. Now, Smart. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. Basket good. The efficiency of Ennis Cantor is impressive. This guy's massive on the blocks and knows how to score. Inside. And Davis throws it down. And really with the off-the-charts explosiveness, Davis just punishes opponents on those alley-oops. And it's smart with the ball for the Celtics. Passes it to Brown. Back to Smart. He feeds it to Brown. And there's the pass to Poirier. Brown outside. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Yeah, this is the very definition of feeling it. Jalen Brown taking smart shots and playing perfectly within the team schemes. Here's lights out. 20 points for him. McGee, the pass to Olsen. And Brown over to help. And McGee kicks to Green. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Tatum on the wing. Guarded by Green, Cantor, and again it's Boston converting. Well, this second quarter has proven to be a turnaround. This guy looking much more comfortable all of a sudden. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. No wasted trips at all. They're taking care of business at the line. The Lakers haven't made a mistake at the line yet. Ten of ten. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. He's perfect from the line this time. Now here's Smart. Pass to Poirier. It's Brown on the wing. Pass to Tatum. Six to shoot. No good there. So the Lakers will take it the other way. And the shots just continue to say no in terms of falling. And that makes it two three-pointers in the quarter so far and four for the game. Boston's gotten half their shots from three-point range to go down in the second quarter. Three of six from downtown. Cantor with it. He's got six. Here's Brown. Cantor trying to free himself up. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on LeBron James. Uh, how exciting is Jalen Brown as a basketball player? This guy is a skilled forward who loves showing off that ability to dunk the basketball. This is his first free throw of the game. And Brown drops them both. Here's lights out. He's got 25. Makes it off the glass. Lights out's got 12 now in this quarter. Well, I absolutely love the way this guy has controlled the pace tonight. They've been able to play the style they want. Poirier passes to Canner. Stolen by McGee. And Davis gets it to go. Davis has got 10 points. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Now, here's Cantor. He had 25 points in the win against Phoenix. And you know, guys, the other thing I really appreciated about his effort in that game was the effort and work on the glass. What a well-rounded performance. Here's lights out after Ennis Canner's basket. Nice shot by James. I'll tell you, the team is simply riding the hot hand. This guy has been lights out. Smart passes to Tatum. Here's Poirier. Pass to Smart from past the arc. The Lakers with the rebound. LeBron's got four rebounds in this game. 
And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. A lot to like about the way they're playing right now, but still plenty of time left. You do like that the offense is humming along. They're putting in the effort to distance themselves. Now here's Tatum. He picked up 30 points in their last win against Phoenix. Just five to shoot. And it's Brown missing. Shoots the three. No good from Olsen. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers out there all by themselves with a 32-point lead to end the quarter. The three-point shooting has come fast and furious to the tune of what has become a big-time blowout in progress. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. It's been one outstanding game from lights out. And if he can keep shooting from deep like he did in the first half, he's going to be more than a handful. What I love is they've continued to feed this guy, ride the hot hand until the defense does something about it. Tatum and Cantor together down low. Brown and Hayward, they're the wings. And it's smart in at the point. That's the group for Brad Stevens getting going here in the second half. Greg, when you played for the Knicks, I always heard that Charles Oakley would cook for the players. Is that true? Absolutely. Oak was very particular about his food. And I got to tell you, he knows his way around the kitchen. And to be honest, I would never tell him otherwise. Well, what was his specialty? Whatever he made. It was special. It <laughs> wouldn't matter. Hayward on the wing. Covered by LeBron. Smart kicks to Tatum. And at last, they get one to fall. Tatum's got 12. How about that? The quick feet, quick thinking makes the play an easy one in screen and roll action for Jason Tatum. Here's James. Pass to Davis. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. LeBron's got his fifth assist in this one. The Celtics shooting reasonably well, 45%. Smart passes to Hayward. Waiters against Brown. Boy, you have got to appreciate how hard Jalen Brown goes. Amazing how he gets defenders to foul him when he's going up with his shot. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. And 74%, yeah, you know, so-so. He probably wouldn't mind seeing it a little bit higher. The Lakers shooting has been out of this world. 74% from the field. Sinks that one from the post. And that's now 29 points for lights out. Wow, what a start to this half. Three for three, dictating the pace on the offensive end. They're rolling early. Left side, Tatum. Rebound the Lakers. Howard's got rebound number 11 for him here tonight. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, guys, if you can believe it, before Jalen Brown went to the draft, one executive said the Cal Berkeley star was too smart. Brown says when athletes are also informative, it can intimidate. We get pushback for our outside interests. The whole shut up and dribble movement is big, and I'm a part of that movement. Guys? Strong story, DA, there. Thanks. Here's lights out after the basket by Boston. Here's Davis, and there's another one for the Lakers. Wow, five straight buckets coming out of half. They are rolling. The kick out to Tatum. Hayward outside. Shoots from the elbow. Count that one. Hayward's got five points so far. 
Well, their accuracy and an assertiveness to Gordon Hayward. So good at getting to the mid-range game. They get it back. Outside for Davis. The pass to Olsen. Waiters outside. Shot clock at six. Here's Howard. And it's Howard finishing it off. Well, this has been one of the staples of Dwight Howard's game. Get on the glass on the offensive end and finish. Outside, smart. Down low, Hayward. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And with a percentage of, of 82, he's been one of their more dependable shooters from the line. No good on the free throw. Well, Gordon Hayward seems to get better and better every year this guy is in the NBA. And the thing maybe that's my favorite about him, he does whatever is requested to put the team in a position to win. Here's what Boston's going with right now. Daniel Tice is checked in for Ennis Cantor. Williams comes in for Tatum. And Brad Wanamaker subbed in for Marcus Smart. Here's Morris and Hayward with the block. Well, this is where Gordon Hayward has turned himself into a dependable two-way player. How good is he at using his length to turn away these shots? Here's Wanamaker. He's covered by Olsen. Outside Williams. Hayward on the wing. Launches a three. The rebound by Caldwell Pope. Taken away by Williams. Celtics passing it around. And Tice throws it down. That's a double whammy, guys. <laughs> That's right. A great defensive play. Then the emphatic stuff. Uh, let's see if that serves as a momentum builder. What a great sequence for this group. And there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul. Shot misses. He'll be shooting two. That's good from Olsen. Green, he's checked in for Gordon Hayward. The Lakers also with a sub. Bradley's checked in for Waiters. He had both from the stripe. And so Wanamaker will bring it up for Boston. Pass to Dice. Round with it. Pass to Green. That's tipped. Now here's Bradley, the fast break opportunity. Caldwell Pope with a wide open look. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. That's the court vision of Avery Bradley. Remarkable how he finds these wide open teammates on a consistent basis. Wanamaker the pass to Brown. His three pointers off the mark. For Los Angeles, they've gone 8 of 10 shooting here in the second half. Very strong. And Caldwell Pope gets the basket. You can see he just has a great overall feel for this game. Excellent job tonight. And that's been his role pretty much from the opening tip. Get the ball to guys where they can score it. Here's Green following the basket by Contavious Caldwell Pope. Passes it to Brown. Five on the clock. Tice, great positioning on the putback. Tice has got five points so far. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Yeah, and those second chance points can add up. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. That foul goes against Boston. And the edge Kuzma plays with is terrific. A, a tough, versatile player who plays with a... I don't know how often we can say we get to watch a once-in-a-generation talent, but how lucky are we to watch LeBron do his thing? Smart. Now the pass to Cantor. Wants to get it to Smart and does. Rejected by Olsen. And he's able to get it back. And the shot goes in. Here's lights out. He's got 31. Trying to get open is Davis. The shot's good from Olsen. Lights out's got 33 points. 
Well, you love that they've been able to rely on him time and time again. You love the effort here late. And he comes up with the deuce. Well, you know Marcus Smart understands how to use his body inside, and I just love how he goes right up with the shot. Olsen passes to James and finished off by LeBron. And no surprise here, right? This guy is not only a gifted player, but he is so smart on the offensive end. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. Way out in front, their lead at 38 points as we close out the quarter. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we'll be right back after this. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. And one quarter to go in a game that to this point has not been an evenly fought contest. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Anthony Davis is out there with Jared Dudley. Then there's Deion Waiters. Then there's Lights Out. And it's James in at the three spot. Edwards, that's good. Listen, even average three-point shooters are going to make that shot. Defense must be better. And there's the basket good from Olsen. And now that's 35 points for Lights Out. And for his position, Davis, a, a solid distributor. He's one of the league's most unique players. And Los Angeles, guys, uh, shooting has been brilliant in this game. 67% from the floor. Here's LeBron. That shot off the mark. Excellent D from Cancer. The Celtics shooting 47%, pretty solid. And a strong finish with two hands. Well, that's the IQ of Gordon Hayward on display. He understands what the defense is trying to take away and finds the open man. To the paint. Here's Davis. A rebound by the Celtics. Cantor's got rebound number seven for him tonight. The shot by Ojale, no good. The Lakers have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. James. And that one falls coming off of Davis's feed. Davis has got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Pass to Hayward. Takes the three. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Well, this is why it's important that Gordon Hayward continue to space the floor. When he's hitting from distance, boy, it unlocks every aspect of his game. Dudley's shot is good. But when you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. To me, this has simply stated been a complete lack of defensive attention and focus all night long. Pass to Edwards for the three. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. That's not his spot, but given the lack of defense, you'd like to see him knock that one down. The Celtics have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Hayward against Dudley. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. You know, if you're only looking... <laughs> Tice kicks to Hayward. Over Caldwell Pope. Passes to Brown. This is the green. Hayward on the wing. Here's the three. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. Building confidence in that deep ball. One from distance in the first, two in the second. Here's Olsen. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Lights out's got 38 points. And so Brown will bring it up for Boston. There's the pass to Tice. Tatum on the wing. Charity stripe shot. The shot missing. 
Lakers shooting it as well as you're going to see, 67%. Olsen passes to Caldwell Pope, and he slams it one-handed. Yeah, shaky defense there, giving up the bucket plus sending KCP to the line. And a new group in for the Celtics. Williams, he's checked in for Daniel Tice. Jimmy Ogilvy comes in for Tatum. Langford's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And it's Edwards in for Brown. Boston's gone to three-point range for 12 of their points in the final quarter on four of five shooting. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. The defensive awareness, the timing, when you have to face a defender that can reject you like that, it can alter your approach. And the Lakers with possession here. Boom, he jams it straight down. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope, looking to get his guys going when they're open. They need to stop this run. You know what, Kev? I think it's time to switch some things up, either by going to your bench or with a different look defensively to disrupt their rhythm. Pass to Williams. Now Edwards. Six on the shot clock. This one for three. Rebounded by Dudley. Edwards gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. Cook, good. Cook's got his first two points of the night. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Nice ball movement by Boston. Pass to Edwards. There's the three. Cans it from downtown. Edwards got six points in the quarter. And you see Lankford's ability as a facilitator. Great court awareness. The shot's good from Olsen. The, the defense has just been unable to slow him down. Wow, what a game. The Celtics shooting about 45% from the four in the fourth. Now here is Edwards. Defense right on him. And he makes good on the layup. Well, what a terrific possession. Attack in the painted area. And here's the Lakers. They double him with Green. Over in the corner, Caldwell Pope. Passes it to Olsen. Back to Caldwell Pope. And the pass to Olsen. Morris trying to free himself up. The shot's good from Olsen. Lights out, has got 44. And for the Celtics, they're shooting a respectable 47% from the field in this one. And good that time. A lethal attacker. Langford enjoys finding those avenues to the bucket and then just torching the defense. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Uh, I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. He misses the free throw. The Celtics making a switch here. Poirier's checked in. And the second free throw, good. 131 left in the fourth quarter. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for Los Angeles. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And on the year, this will turn out to be win number 34 for them. And so they win their first game against this squad. It's a two-game season series, and they'll be going for the sweep the next time they face off. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for lights out. No doubt he came to play tonight. This guy has been aggressive and effective. Here's lights out. Rebounded by Langford. 44 seconds left in the fourth. Pass to Ogilvy. Takes a three. The rebound by the Lakers. Here's lights out. It's tipped. Langford with a steal. 
23 seconds left in the game. And the turnover again by Boston. Nineteen seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Gets it to fall in the bucket from Olsen. Lights out. has got 49 points in the game. Well, they knew it would be a hostile environment, and they rose to the challenge. And sometimes when everyone's rooting against you, it seems to bring the unit closer together. It certainly did tonight. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. This one was over well before the final buzzer. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about, Greg, but they never got it. And they sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. And that about wraps it up. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.